My name is Dave Weisey. I'm with ACI Technical Support and today we're going to talk about how to set the alarms on a Q5 sensor. Uh, this is a Q5C CO sensor that we're working on today so we're going to be talking about carbon monoxide. Each of these sensors with the different gas types have different default trip levels in them. So this is going to be if, if a different alarm level needs to be set. So the first thing we need to do is actually get in the menu and we're going to press our F3 and we're going to enter the passcode which is 4321 and we're going to use the F1 and F2 buttons okay so now we're in the menu we're going to use F2 and we're going to go to alarm setup we're going to press enter our first alarm level we're going to enter in here. Uh, this is where we can enable or disable it. Uh, alarms one through four are already enabled. So we're going to press next. This is where we can set the input up. This could be either an instant, 15 minute average, eight hour average, daily peak, or fault. We're going to set this to instant. So that means it's going to turn on right away. So this is where we're going to set the uh, turn on alarm at. We're going to change this to 25 parts per million. We're going to use the F3 key to scroll over. And now we're going to use the F2 key. We're going to enter that as 2. We're going to press enter to get to the next digit. And we're going to set that at 25. Now the next screen that's going to show where we're going to turn this off at and we're going to turn this off at 15. So again we're going to use F3 to scroll over, use F2 to get down to 1 and we have that 5 already set. So that's done. So now this is where we're going to determine which relays we're going to use, which relay to trigger. So we're going to trigger relay 1 now you can also relay, uh, trigger relays 2 or 3 if needed, but we're just going to do relay 1 for alarm 1. So we're going to press no, no. And you can also set up the buzzer. In this case we're not going to use buzzers, so we're just going to go through that. So we've just set alarm 1. Now if we want to do a second alarm, we do the very same thing. We're going to do alarm 2. This could be for a high alarm. So that shows that it's enabled, instant. So let's say we want to turn this on at 40 parts per million. And we're going to turn it off at, let's say, 25. We already have relay 1 on, so we don't need to turn that on. We want to turn relay 2 on. This could be for either you know, a high-speed high fan or possibly even a horn and strobe attached to Relay 2. We're not going to deal with any buzzers. And we've just set Alarm 2. Now we can get back into the menu. We're going to exit the menu. And we've just set our alarm levels.